the place for comic book and anime reviews. Hello, you guys. Welcome to Brian Campbell 12 YouTube channel. Place for your comic book anime reviews. Today is my review for Champions, issue number five. Uh, we got a cool cover right here, and all of them making these really cool looking poses. And they're about to fight back, as I see on the cover, against Cradle. And this is also the final issue of Evil Ewing's run on the book. So let's get right on into it. So, right at the beginning, we pretty much get to see all of our heroes breaking out of the Cradle Reeducation Center. Uh, they've been trapped there for all this time, and they're basically battling to get out. And we get this really cool scene of everyone yelling, Champions Charge! All together at once. Um, all of our heroes just punching on through to um, break out the Education Center. Uh, and we just get a moment where Rory gets to meet her mom again. Um, and she kind of, she, she tries to like, uh, basically trying to like explain why she's doing all this because she believes her mom's gonna be angry at her and everything. But her mom isn't angry at her. She actually is kind of proud of Riri uh, for standing up for herself against these cradle goons. And we didn't get another scene of with the vision this issue as well. So. Kind of still connecting Rory Williams and Vivian because both of their stories really do intertwine. Um, they don't really intertwine in like a way that you would think they would normally, but they do both play a big role in this issue. And um, we get to see Viv pretty much saying, like, yeah, I write everyone out. I want to protect everyone. I'm sorry for that. Um, Bombshell does call her out for it, but you know, everyone still overall accepts her despite all this and they get on the news and they tell them about what the career education center was really doing and that it was really hurting the kids and they managed to um, make the organization look bad in the public's eyes which I thought was really great and the issue ends off with can't be moving on forward for their next um, ordeal so that's pretty much where the actual main issue ends off um, we just found out who was over Crayon. It was part of the Rock Soul Corporation. And we get a preview of what's happening in the future stories. Uh, I'll say it straight up. Don't really like the art here. Very, very cutesy type of art. Uh, was not what I was expecting for a Miller Champions run. They, it looks very kid friendly. Uh,. And we don't know why, you know, champions are working for a rock storm corporation. Hopefully the writing's still good, but art-wise, it's a little bit, um, it's, uh, it's not bad. I still want to probably read it. It's not like it's, um, looks like it's something that I wouldn't read. It doesn't, it, just, it doesn't look as cool as this art does. Like, this art looks cool. This art looks like, um, like detail and, like, action about to go on. This art looks a little bit... Lighthearted, um, too lighthearted for my for my preferences, um, especially for a book like this that has been so epic. Like the best story in champions have been like these epic scale stories. So kind of go back to this key jar uh, tells me that what type of story we're gonna get here. Um, this this probably not gonna be as interesting as the story we've getting so far, and that kind of worries me. But we'll see what happens. Uh, then we're off on champion issue number five. This is what I'm going to about Champion Issue number 5, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.